up guys? Welcome back to another Empire Motor Club vlog. We have a special announcement for you guys, Ryan. EMC is going to start collabing with uh, Klein Exhaust. That's right, oh. Klein Innovation and EMC. We're gonna start our collaboration and it starts right now. But today we're gonna talk to you guys about exhaust. Since we're on the topic, we're gonna talk about exhaust. Exactly. So while we're on the topic, we hit 100K. Yes. High five. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, Ryan and I are gonna do a live question and answer Q&A on YouTube very soon. We will let you guys know in the YouTube community, but let's talk about exhaust, man. Exhaust, I mean, you know, exhaust is uh, one of the first things you do to a car. Exactly. Right? Exhaust is a very integral part to the car, to the engine, the heart of the car. So let's go with another basic thing is that there's naturally aspirated engines, there's turbo engines, and they're supercharged. And now because of emissions and all the new rules and the regulations, a lot of brands and car makers are going turbo. Well, they, have to. They, they have to, they have to, yes. to. So because everyone, uh, they need to decrease emissions within a certain amount of years, but if they want to increase horsepower, there's really no other option. There's an upside, which is that there's more power to be had. Holy shit right? load of power. A lot of power. <laughs> Let's talk about everything that goes out through the manifolds. So for supercharged or naturally aspirated cars, there's a header. Usually it's on two sides that converge, and then there's catalytic converters, and the cat is basically for emissions as well. So the catalytic converter which looks like it's honeycombed, air passes through, and I'm gonna give you guys the scientific term. A catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that reduces toxic gases and pollutants in exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction, an oxidization and a reduction reaction. Okay, that's a mouthful. So in layman's, what it does is it takes the bad stuff and makes it less bad when they release it out. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and then there's usually a center section or midsection, and then it goes into the rear section, which usually has a muffler and then your exhaust tips. Um, sometimes the midsection also has a secondary catalytic converter or a resonator. So it reduces more pollutants or reduces more sound. In the current exhaust system, a lot of them have the valve tronic system, which is somewhere in the muffler that um, kind of like switches on and off so the noise cancels out or releases the noise, you know. With turbocharged cars, the main difference is that turbocharged cars, either you have a single downpipe or you have two downpipes and the downpipes will lead into the catalytic converters. The rest of the exhaust is pretty much the same. So the only difference, like I said before, is that turbocharged cars have turbo manifolds and downpipes. I guess intake, ECU tune, and the right sizing of the exhaust and the right mix of everything, the right combination, you can get a lot of power. But if you don't have the right combination and if you don't have the right exhaust, sometimes you get robbed of power. You lose a lot of power. power. And you know, the funny thing is, we've been in this car thing for quite some time. Not I mean, yet, we're not gonna years. tell you how old we are, but we've been- fixing, like 20 years. We've been fixing up cars <laughs> since the very first car we had. You know, uh, over 20 years. And you know, the lucky thing that about EMC, which, you know, thanking you guys, is that we have this opportunity to, you know, get these parts to, uh, to go to these dynos. You know, when we were kids, man, when we fixed up, exhaust, we didn't know what we were doing to the car. You know, to be honest no, with you, we, no, didn't, we, we just, had no idea. We, we, didn't. Just, we just went with the brand yeah. and whoever told us something was good or yeah. this shop was like, hey, yeah, you gotta buy this. Yeah, or like, it's this one's louder. Or I went through a phase where I wanted like the biggest exhaust possible. Oh yeah. <laughs> this yeah. was like Supra era, you know? Yeah. It was like, I wanted the biggest, I had this big HKS thing that you can put your fucking whole arm yeah. in. You, you know? told me you had a big one on your Prelude too. I had, I had a- You had I, a supercharged No, what I had was a, uh, so the Prelude was a single exhaust. But right. my body kit was a dual exhaust. Okay. So I had a, I had one real exhaust and one and big, big one. Just <laughs> big big one. <laughs> that, that, that like didn't do anything. It was just there for like looks, you know? Yeah, so we've done so many different exhausts. Like I, I think I've went through like at least 20 different brands. I mean, obviously let's go with a brand that everyone puts on the pedestal, which is like a Kropovich, mm -hmm. you know? That's, that's kind of, that's kind of the kind benchmark. Kind of like the benchmark, yeah. right? Like the benchmark, so yeah. 
I've had a bunch of Akrapovich systems. Um, I know that you've had like different, like Rabbits. You had like that Rabbits. I had IPE. Like, like, didn't you have Novatech or something? I had, had Meisterscheib. You remember Meisterscheib? That? Yeah. Uh, what, what, I mean, was, it, was it called Meisterscheib? Uh, Eisenman. 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 Meisterscheib. Meisterscheib. Right? We even, paid a lot of tuition. Yeah. A I mean, even, um, even Taiwan brands such as IPE, FI Exhaust. About a year and a half ago, I started to look for a new exhaust system for the 997.2 Turbo S. I started to go on the forums because it's an educational place and I realized that a lot of the track enthusiasts and a lot of the supercar owners uh, were all raving about this new exhaust system made from a material called Inconel. And I had never heard about it, but then they were all talking about this brand called Klein Innovation and about how awesome it was. I started to Google it and I was blown away because I realized all the competitive advantages it had over the traditional 304, the 321 stainless steel systems, as well as the titanium systems. So I really wanted to give it a shot. I think the coolest fact I found about Inconel was that F1 cars all use exhausts made from Inconel. And throughout the course of the entire F1 season, there are so many interchangeable parts, wear and tear parts. Maybe they get into some accidents and they need to change out different parts of the F1 cars, but the Inconel system does not get changed because it's so durable and it's so reliable. So I knew that I needed to give Klein Innovation a shot. I've noticed with a lot of JDM cars or a lot of turbo cars that use titanium exhausts, even though they're super lightweight, with heat, they tend to crack and they tend to have some problems with it. So I think with Inconel, it solves a lot of the, the heat issues that a lot of the turbo cars. It can absorb enough more heat? It can, yes. So it's this got better heat properties. It can okay. withstand up to like, I think uh, 11 or 1200 degrees Celsius okay. usable. But per ounce, I think titanium is still lighter. Yes, you're right. Titanium is still lighter. However, because in Canel, it is denser and uh, it is sturdier. So you can actually make it thinner, which so then makes it lighter. But what's another cool in Canel fact is that supposedly it's used on spaceships, you know, like fighter jets, missiles. So I mean, that's just an interesting tidbit for everyone. Well, well, I definitely think the secret is out. So besides the Pista, um, the P1, there's a lot of uh, high-end hypercar production cars that use Inconel. Another cool feature with the Inconel exhaust is that, I don't know if you've seen on some race videos or track videos, you'll see people's headers or downpipes turn really red, or even on dyno videos, um, because the heat, the heat turns the stainless steel like really, really, really orange or red, kind of like when you heat up your brakes, the stainless steel rotors. Because of Inconel, and they have such good heat properties, even when you just beat on the car for hours on the track, it doesn't turn super red. It kind of just glows a little bit. And we have it right here. So this is actually the GTR downpipe, which is actually pretty cool. It is made out of 625 Inconel. This is Light. This is really light. You <laughs> guys are not to trust really us. Light. So, oh boy. So my my Ferrari, uh, the 488. I saved about 14 kilograms, which is huge. That well, 14 kilograms. That's like 30 pounds. 2.2. And if you wow. look, yeah. And if you look at the the videos, you can see that the diameter of the pipes on the client are much wider than okay. the stock ones. But 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 it's still lighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, so that's, that's impressive. That is really, really impressive. After Ryan got the Klein exhaust done, he went to the dyno. I've never done a dyno. You know, this was my first dyno. Okay, to be very honest, I was a little bit apprehensive because uh, a couple nights before, Sonny sent me these uh, videos of dyno fails. <laughs> <laughs> so when cars, uh, when I saw cars just like pop off the thing, I was a little, you know, I was like, oh shit, this, is, this isn't gonna happen to my car, is it? And it was very, very interesting to see like the output and the gains and, you know, like as soon as we saw the line, we knew that, oh, we need power, but we need more airflow. Yeah, like, that's, that's the true. It, it does, it, it, there's not enough air for the, for, for, yeah. you know, and then we, we talked to Felix at uh, Klein and he said the exact same thing. Yeah. You know? So basically I think if I tune my 488 with like an ECU tune, I would fucking gain maybe like 50, 60, 70, 70 horsepower. the wheels. Yeah, yeah, easy man, you know? Fine tuning the diameter of the pipes, mm -hmm. which goes hand in hand with the air fuel ratio. So this is why I think Klein 
is very, very cool. It's, they actually put a lot of time in engineering, R&D, and also dyno testing into their systems. So, I mean, you and I, we've had a lot of exhaust systems where I feel like maybe we've even lost power. You would never know unless you put it on the dyno. Exactly. So that's why I feel like Klein stands by their word. All their exhaust systems make power. And, you know, that, that's what we did. We went to the dyno to find out. I gained six. seven horsepower, but I saved 14 kilos. Yeah, you gained seven horsepower, max RPM, but throughout the rev range, you were still yeah. around 18 to 20. You could just tell it needed more air. Yeah, like, so like it was very clear. We have the dyno charts. Uh, the links are down below. When I went to the dyno uh -huh. after we installed the exhaust, I did not get an ECU tune. Mm -hmm. Everyone was saying that there's a lot of power to be added on my engine. So with just the exhaust and the downpipes, I gained about 20 horsepower throughout the range and about 30 Newton meters. Right, so that's, that's close that's, to what I got, right? That's close to what you got. Yeah, I, I, got, like, side. I had like three kg. I personally think that HJS cats are the best on the market. Klein Innovation chooses to use HJS for a reason that says so much about them and I really respect that because they don't use shitty cats. Shitty catalytic converters can be detrimental to your car, the engine could clog it up, and it's probably bad for the air. HJS uses 100 cell or 200 cell, so you can choose that from Klein. Every car reacts differently. The less means more airflow, more means less airflow. I personally like to use 100 cell because it's the most free flowing. You most likely won't get a check engine light. You know, if you're concerned about it, uh, the client innovation and EMC, they can provide one of those OBD2 things. It clears out all the CEL lights. Your McLaren, you saved... I saved about seven to eight kgs, which is pretty good, but I needed to put the original heat shield up from the catalytic converters uh, back on. That's why. Yeah, but, and I didn't really want to take that off. And then, oh, I did further testing. I did a before and after heat, heat test. Properties. Yeah, with the infrared heat And, and it, it, it sustained heat much better. We were running the car for about an hour and then the dyno, the stock exhaust, the difference between the two, the stock and the climb, was about 120 degrees Celsius. That is a big drop off in temperature. So, hey, it keeps your exhaust cooler, it keeps the engine breathing better. I mean, this is just one of the best examples of an exhaust manufacturer that Absolutely. I've seen. But hey, let's talk about the sound in the exhaust. You know, like, what, what do you think? Like, you know, you, you know, we talked about this. Like, yeah. that was one of the biggest whole bags for me from for jumping the 458 to the 488 right yeah well naturally i aspirated you had the whole shebang yeah right? i mean that shit straight up sound like a fucking F1 F1. One. yeah that <laughs> yeah. sounded so good yeah i mean you know i live in Dongshu, but i would i would be like maybe four blocks down <laughs> everyone knows and everyone's my, like, my son's like, like oh, oh, Ryan, Ryan. ryan's coming yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know which was kind of cool so a, a few weeks ago before i had my exhaust on we went on a run yeah and he already had his exhaust on and um you know, honestly, I was so pissed because I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear oh, any yeah. of my cars, right? Yeah. But after I put the exhaust on, I mean, it's definitely a lot it louder. It sounds so much better. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot louder. It sounds yeah. great. supposed to be super loud and it sounds superb it yeah. sounds deeper it has more growl and when you, you have a spool and you have the spool you can hear the engine can't you yeah. you can hear it that's kind of cool right? that's that is cool. really really cool that's kind of cool yeah so same with the 570s it's a very quiet car stock um but once i put on the climb man it's like a night and day difference God. and when we went on that run you were behind me you could hear my exhaust yeah, I, right? could hear, I couldn't hear any anything from my car it was so really? so quiet you know? yes now, now, you, now my car is now it's dope. Yeah, I was behind you the other day. It sounded really good. So we're going to do this uh, McLaren versus Ferrari soon. Yeah, we got to. We got to do a McLaren versus Ferrari. But I'm just super stoked to be bringing you guys what we love. And if you guys out there are interested in Klein, hey, EMC is the exclusive distributor for Klein right now in Taiwan. That is the news that we wanted to share with you guys. Leave a message in the comments, hit us a DM, or you know, just write to us and we'll try to point you down in the right direction and get these great exhaust systems into your hands. Thank you guys for the 100K. You know, yes. um, here's to 100K more and beyond. And uh, yeah, I mean, just whatever you guys wanna see in the future, let us know. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, we love you guys. Keep supporting us, keep watching the vlog. 
tell all your friends and just hit that like button and keep subscribing. We're gonna bring you guys doper content and we're gonna bring you guys some seriously dope products, not just clients. So be on the lookout. See you guys next time. Peace.